Hello, welcome to another Sonic Racing Chronicles modding tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going through editing uh, UI elements, specifically UI elements that use textures or renders. Um, I want to be focusing on character renders because that's the thing that most people seem to want to do. So the character renders are in content, zero one union, UI, character machine select, character select, texture, and now that it's these three. This one's, I want to be editing supersonic, so let me open supersonic for this. This one is the main render, the big one you see everywhere. This one is used in, oh, what's the word? It's used in the, um, in the leaderboards and all that. Like the, the, the points after every ramp race and, and everything. And this one is used for the uh, map. You can see this one has like a little circle. That's because it's used for the map. So we're going to extract all of them. My personal recommendation actually will be that you extract as a... TGA instead of a PNG, but you can do whatever you want. I like to use TGA so I can look at the alpha channel correctly. So I'm going to export all of them. And I have them all exported. So I'm going to open in Photoshop. I'm going to be doing a quick replacement using this Super Snake render from Sonic Dash. Oops, I opened this copy accent. Uh, here. I'm going, to open, I'm going to open this one here. Now open this one here and this one. All right, so let's start with the, the big one. Uh, the main thing you want to make sure of is that your eyes somewhat match where the character's eyes are and also like somewhat the size of the render. So something like this, for example, let me lower opacity so I can compare. Is something, actually maybe, maybe a little smaller. Something like this should look good in game. It's like somewhat centered. Oops, wrong way. Actually, for center, we're gonna a little bit more like this. All right. Now, when it comes to the big renders, you can completely ignore everything. Uh, just make sure the image resolution is the same. So, twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight. Now, you can do two things when exporting renders like this. You can manually make an alpha channel, like it, like it's done by usual, or you can just export as a PNG. Um, when it comes to Unreal Engine, you want to export as PNG because it imports the transparency better. So for the sake of example, I'm going to show you both cases. So I'm going to hide the background and just save as a PNG. Uh, six copy. I really need to remove this setting for Photoshop. I keep forgetting to do it. Uh, PNG is over here. Save it, replace. I'm also going to save it as a PSD because you can also import those. So I'm going to delete the alpha channel. I'm going to right click the render, select pixels, channels, and then press the plus icon to make a new one. Ah, sorry, not the plus icon, this one. To make an alpha channel based on the selection. And I'm going to paint the background white just ready to show you what happens. It will help if I enabled it and also made it editable. There we go. So I'm going to save as a PSD. Now I'm going to work on the other two. This one, as I said, is used in the minimap. So import your texture. Oops. Somewhat make it fit. That's a little smaller. Yes, something like that. Why not? Uh, now what I like to do is I like to hide the original. The original, I'm sorry, the imported one I'm using. So I'm going to hide it. I like to take a, a selection tool. This one, Eclipse mar Marquee Tool, and then just do this until it somewhat fits the original, something like that. Then I go into this one, I make a selection mask. It looks like this, I had the original, and that's it. Now we're going to simply export. So save, save this copy, PNG, i remove this. I typed the name wrong. I'll fix it uh, once I put it in real. And lastly, this one. We do the same thing. We import, we make it smaller. Uh, something like that, why not? Now again, we hide the original and we save. The only one you need to worry about making a custom uh, transparency is for the one in the unimap, because I said that one's a circle. Everything else just uses uh, the correct um, the default alpha, you can see there's nothing special about this one. 
uh, just make sure the resolution matches on all the images as the original image. So now go to Unreal Engine. I'm going to be showing how to do this uh, in both the custom engine and the default engine because it's a super easy process that you don't need anything custom to do. So we're going to recreate this file path. So we're in content. So we want to go to union. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Union server here, content. So we're in content. We're going to make 01 union here. UI. Our machine select. Texture. So when it comes to importing textures using any format that is an PNG, uh, a lot of the times what happens in Real Engine is that the transparency gets messed up a little bit. So I want to import this shadow edit that I made so you can see it better than the supersonic one. So you can see there's a lot of white lines around the uh, render. And the way to fix this is to use PNG. If I import this one, uh, so that's the wrong one, that's Sonic. If I import this one, you see that the, the white lines go away. And that one's going to look better in-game. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to import the Sonic one. So I'm going to look for the PNG for this. Let me save that one here somewhere. OK, here. I'm going to import. OK, wait, not. It's the wrong one. Is it? No, it isn't. Cool. Uh, so as you can see, the preview is messed up. To fix this, we're going to texture group, we change it to UI, and now it's going to display the transparency in the content editor. Uh, roster, I mean. Also, you want to go to map, map gen settings and set it to no map maps. And lastly, you want to go to compression settings here. Let me make this way so you can read it. Compression settings and change from default to VC7. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So now I just make the image look better. So save. Now let's make the, the other folders, which should be Kara icon and Kara icon hut. And let's import both of them. So again, no me maps, UI, VC7. Okay, I can HUD. This is the one that I messed up the name on, so I'm gonna fix it before I import. And once again, no me maps, UI. And VC7. All right. Now we need to package this. There are multiple ways to do it. I'm going to be doing it both the custom engine way and the default in, the default uh, UEFI way. Let's start with default UEFI. The way I do it personally is that I go to project settings and I make sure IO store and chunk assignment is enabled. So chunk, generate chunks, IO store, it's enabled already. And now we go into edits, later preferences. So I'm going to make sure chunk is enabled, allow chunk ID, chunk ID assignments. So now I'm going to select these three folders over here so I can look at everything. Select every file, right click, asset actions, send to chunk, and I'm going to uh, send it to any random chunk. Uh, preferably don't do zero because that's how we use for the game. Do something big. I'm going to do 51. Save, save platforms, windows, package project. Make a folder when you want your things to be. I'm going to make a folder become package and select folder. Now I'm going to make a cut until this finishes packaging, and we'll be back. All right, quick thing, because I realized I messed up the folders. Uh, this, this happens a lot to me. I'm sorry. Uh, Car machine select, and I forgot the folder for car select. So let's make it here. Car select, and then move everything in here. There we go. Now everything is where it should be. So once again, I'm going to set it to a chunk ID. Send to chunk 51. Save and now we package again. Right, now that I finished packaging. I put my package folder inside my project folder. So my project, package, windows, my project, content, packs, and this. And this to underscore P, so you're losing the game. Let's put it in game. As you can see, I already tested this and realized, oops, I messed up the folder structure. It can happen to anybody at any point. <laughs> So you can see the new renders in. And the, okay, that, that, that's a big render.
So you can see it's an mini map too. And that's the entire process for replacing any renders. Okay, so now we're going to be going through packaging this with a custom engine. So you know the custom engine can't do packaging because it doesn't work. So what we're going to do is go to platforms, windows, cook content using development. All right, once it's on cooking, we're going to be using Rito Workflow from one of the previous tutorials. I'll be leaving a link in the description as usual. So we're going to go to where our files are, which in my case is uh, my projects. Saved, cooked, windows, my project, content, zero one union. I'm going to copy this entirely. I'm going to go to where my Rito Workflow folder is. Rito Workflow game, game mod union, content, and replaces. Make sure everything is in here. It is. Now we just go back, open repack mod, game repack. I'm gonna name this Super Sonic UI underscore P, and I'm gonna put it into the packs folder. I'm going to delete this one because this is from when I was testing with um uh, with packaging. So I'm gonna open the game. And as you can see, the render is replaced. And if you go into the race, you'll see that the uh, small render we use is in the minimap. So you can see there it is.